Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This my name is Marshall, and if it's your first time here, welcome to another video. Whatever you're doing, get your notebook, get your pen, get your paper, and whatever, and take notes because I'm about to show you how to slay a mad girl face. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Marshawn and welcome back to another video. Get your notebook, get your pen, get your paper because class is in session. I am so sick of y'all walking around Asian. Okay, very um not blended. Okay, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Am I? So today we are going to be doing like a just in-depth tutorial. I know I posted one maybe a year ago, maybe five, six months ago, but a lot has changed since then. And I'm not going to ramble and I'm not going to talk and I'm not going to just talk, 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 talk. So we just about to get this ball on the road. But before we even start, I need you to stop what you're doing and subscribe because I'm about to drop some gems on you, baby. Okay. And we, it's going to take you five seconds to subscribe. So we just going to wait. You did it. Yeah, let's go. I'm a double type. I'm a double primer type of girl. I like to double up on my things. Just because I'm using a lot of products does not mean I'm using a lot of products, if that makes sense. It, it, this is just what works for me. You can do one primer. You can do, you can just <laughs> follow me if you want to, girl. Go get your leg out the bathroom. Okay, so for one of my primes, I'm going to be going in with my Refi Primer. This is the Nicinamide Primer that was like viral. I really love this primer and it's a glow and sculpt. Um, and I'm going to tell you why I'm using this primer, Nicinamide. It's just keeping the moisture in your face. So I like to go in and just really make sure my face is really moisturized because I'm a mad girl. I don't really care for um, the dewy look, the dewy girl. Yeah, that's not me. I want to look matte, okay? So I'm just working this into my skin. So I'm gonna take my hands, my clean hands, and I'm just gonna lightly rub this in, okay? When going underneath my eyes, I'm just using my ring fingers because that's the hands with the less pressure, if you don't know, I know. <laughs> I'm just dropping gems on y'all, I know. So just go in and just lightly just make sure that's worked in. Just making sure everything is nice and just, just right. Okay, just let that dry down really, really well. And so the reason why I'm making sure my face is hydrated because I really, really love a matte face. So I have to make sure my face is very hydrated underneath my makeup or I will run into dry patch. Okay, so for primer, I will be going in with my one size primer. This is all sucker. I talked about this in my last video. So don't do the mistake like I did yesterday. I'll put way too much of this on. You literally need a pea size amount. Okay, so slightest amount of primer. And I'm gonna take two of my fingers and literally go in my T-zone area because that's where I really want the oil, but I really want the oil to be, I really want the primer all over my face, but I'm working in like baby steps, okay? just going in and the key to this primer is to let your primer dry down let it dry down after a while you will see your face getting okay as you can see my face is white this is how you know the primer is working because your face turns white like so please 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 let your primer just dry down for maybe up to five minutes you will see a difference in your makeup, I promise you. So for foundations, when using this primer, I made the mistake and I went for a matte look yesterday. My makeup looked good, but I could see like patchiness where like my makeup and my primer was kind of like just trying to work something out on my face. So if I were you, please use like a radiant foundation, like a radiant base and just, you know, just do not use matte. Matte is gonna have you looking crazy. Cause I was looking crazy yesterday. My preference will be the NARS um, Radiant, Natural Radiant Longwear. Y'all know this is one of my favorite foundation. Another one will be the Urban Decay. She's cute. Another one will also be the Dior Forever Skin. She's cute. Just something glowy if you get the, you know, even a sheer or a tint or something like that. But please do not use anything matte. I'm gonna go in and I like to just put some on the back of my hand. I don't think it make a difference and just distribute this onto my skin like so. 
just because I have a little bit more control over the product. I feel like a lot of neutral, not all, but a lot of neutral foundations look really well on me. Take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury with my Morphe M439 and start to blend this out. When I'm blending out my foundation, I like to push my foundation into my skin like really push a lot of people swipe i feel like me pushing it is really just working that foundation into my skin i try to avoid my under eye area because the last thing i want is for my under eyes to be cakey so yes i am going underneath my eyes but i'm going very very lightly i just want the i don't need as much coverage underneath my eyes because that's what the concealer will come in so this is how we're looking the base looks good very mindful very beautiful very demure <laughs> i'm going in with my concealer i love the Too faced concealer so i will be going in with a butterscotch and caramel go in with a butterscotch and just give me it's always nice to start off really really less and then you can go back and add more because the last thing you need is for you to have so much makeup on you have to just take it off and start all the way over caramel because caramel is just a tad bit darker and I just like to go in and just go on the outskirts just to kind of give me a little bit of more like a blendability because you don't want it to be like too in your face so I just like to go in and do that get my concealer by NARS and Amande and I'm going to take this and go underneath my cheeks because this is a matte concealer and it's just going to make it just it just gives it a different look and this one is really close to my skin tone it's maybe like two shades lighter let me tell you something the matte concealers by nars they knew what they was doing i talk about nars complexion products all the time nars complex complexion products are just fire one of my favorite setting brushes is the real technique setting brush this brush is so good it's very budget friendly she's good yes they have a lot out there that you can use but this one she does the job so i'm just going to start blending this out when i'm blending mine out i like to start from the bottom and work my way up because i want the most coverage underneath my eyes and it's been sitting for a minute so a lot of coverage is going to be on my face but i like to start from the bottom and work my way up just because i like for that under eye to be chef's kiss so let's get blending girl <laughs> So this is how we're looking. I know we look very shocking. I know, I know, I know, I know. So I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and just go on in and blend those harsh lines over. And we can go on our cheeks because all of this is just our foundation. So I just like to go in and just really blend those edges out. Okay, so you can like go on to the next step, but I like a little bit more of a brightness with my one size concealer in medium dark g game changer also the nars is really good for this step so i just like to go in and just give me just a tad bit underneath my eyes here and here because you want your face if you do anything to the top half you have to do it to the bottom half because you want it to match you don't want to look crazy listen i'm trying to get y'all a 20 minute video so y'all can see what i've been learning for 10 years okay next i am going to bronze my face so i'm going in with a cream bronzer and this is a nars bronzer in laguna 04 and this is a sephora number 47 brush and i like to go in and just 
really like placed that as you can see it's very rich but it's not too like bronzy it's a really nice shade I use this brush just to like give me the placement where everything needs to go i'm going directly in and blend this out with my smashbox blurring foundation brush this brush is so good just to blend out your foundation and i'm blending when i'm blending my contour i'm blending up I'm not bringing it down because I want my face to look more chiseled, so I'm bringing it up, not down, okay? So this is how we're looking, very much blended, very nice. This is just a masterpiece. I will do cream blush, but baby, one thing about a bronze look she just gives. So now it is time for me to set my plate, my face. A lot of setting powders does a lot of different things. I'm a full coverage girl, a lot of girls are not. If you, whatever you like, a lot of girls still like the Laura Mercier honey. She's still good, but my heart is with the one size setting powder, and this is in the shade Sweet Honey. No, I haven't tried the new ones yet, but you, you gotta believe I will. You gotta believe. So I like to take a damp beauty blender and I like to go in, blow the excess off because I don't want that to just sit on my face and just start to set my face very lightly because I'm pretty much pushing the product into my skin so it can absorb that concealer. Anything wet you have on your face, you have to set it, even if you, like no you don't if you want the matte look you have to set it i like to really really work that in my pink blue blender and going into translucent and go on top just to give me that extra little it just does something and i'm just going in doing the same thing and just going in and just set that and i always go with my lid because my lids are so oily sucking up all of that oil if you don't know these two blend beauty blenders do two totally different things one is a pro and one is just a regular pink beauty blender i really love the black ones to me the black ones just does what it needs to be done I'm going in with my bronzer by Too Faced, I mean by Juvia's Place because she's so nice, she's so pretty, and she just gives me a bronze look what I was just looking too harsh, just too, she just really does a good job. So I just like to go in and just bronze up my face without looking too red. Um, I feel like when you first getting into makeup, you all kind of figure out what you like on you see like a little bit of my complexion is starting to come back if this is a trick that i do to make people think that i put a lot of effort in my makeup even though i am but it just takes it up a notch so i'm taking my bronze out by um juvia's place and i'm taking a morphe i think this is an m44 and i'm just taking my bronzer and literally go right in the front and just sweeping it I'm sorry if somebody feel like my makeup is all the same because this is always what I'm doing literally like it's very rare I'm complexion girl I like to my complexion to look so good to where it just look like I think uh, eyeshadow can take a look to a whole nother level but I don't think I'm at that level yet blend into my brows and I like to take it down my nose because sometimes I can go a little bit OD and I'm just going in and just make this is Inglot's liner um from Inglot and just black y'all she's so good she changes my makeup game I'm just going in with a tapered brush and I'm literally going in my waterline with this
she literally would take your makeup to a whole nother level. Back in with my bronzer, and I like to sweep this underneath my eye, cause it's like I'm smoking it out, but not like too much. And as you can see the difference, oh, something's in my eye. Because a lot of people say, what do, how do I come back looking? This is what I do. So do my lashes and put my brows and I'll be right back. So this is how we're looking once we have our lashes on. My hair is a little crazy because I'm in the process of redoing it. So we still got a little orange, but that's cool. Got a little clean brush and dusting off this excess here. So when I get here, I like to take a setting spray. I'm taking my all-nighter and just giving me some a spray because I don't like for my face just to be like cakey and dry looking. So I'm just giving me a little spray. I like to go in and set my face. I'm going in with my other one size in Dark Deep. Y'all know I talk about her all the time. I love her. And I'm just going in and just set my face. And I'm really going over everything because I want everything to blend in really really well all this time for my lips this is makeups forever in limitless limitless brown i just started using these and i can't i can't turn around and i'm just going in you ever wanted like a real true brown she's it Take dimensional dark brown and go just on the cupid's bow. This is Fenty Beauty's sorta of selfish. Oh, these are so good. And I just like to go in and it's not it's they're creamy. Like uh and I like to take this is Champ Stamp Fantasy by Fenty Beauty and go on top. Y'all be wanting the details, and this is the details. Okay, yeah, she's pretty. Okay, so I'm about to change and out. Okay, guys, so this is the finish. Look, when you see this hat, just know my hair not done. Okay, look, I love my face. I love a matte face, and if you love a matte face, you will love this look. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.